How many school shootings are we willing to accept before we take action? What can be done? Here's what I propose, the flag system. Step one, we would have a national registry where people in communities would be mandated to register. Neighbors, doctors and nurses, law enforcement, teachers, public works employees, and so on. National security would be able to see the names of those who registered to make sure they're real people. But their registry and the flag submitted would remain anonymous to the public. Step two, communities would be educated on the combination of factors that make up a red flag. Someone in the community who might be a potential risk to becoming a school shooter. Some of these factors include troubled home lives, either high conflict or absent parents, often combined with overbearing abusive punishments or extremely permissive responses to problems, experiencing or witnessing significant instability in the home, such as domestic violence or severe neglect, absentee records at school, teachers and school School counselors typically provide the next tier of observation and attention. They'll often get a sense of what a kid's home life is like better than anyone else. Consider the fact that the school lunches might be the child's only meal. And are they sitting alone at lunch? Mental health issues. Many school shooters have a history of mental health problems, including depression, anxiety, or psychosis. Here are some common, more obvious outward indicators. Depression, a downcast demeanor, isolated, a noticeable decline in personal grooming or hygiene, frequently appearing lethargic or having low energy levels, anxiety, difficulty sitting still, fidgeting, complaining of physical symptoms such as headaches or stomach aches in response to stress, psychosis, engaging in bizarre behavior that stands out, speaking or responding to voices that no one else can hear, displaying emotions that seem out of place or exaggerated given the situation such as laughing during serious moments, appearing extremely withdrawn and quiet, often described as the quiet loners. Social isolation. Many shooters experience significant social isolation or feel alienated from their peers. They may have trouble forming or maintaining friendships and feel disconnected from their community. Bullying. A history of being bullied or experiencing extreme social rejection or victimization, which may contribute to feelings of anger or revenge. Destructively acting out due to a mismanagement of anger. Physical threats to people like tossing rocks, destruction of property, cruelty to animals. Perhaps their only example of a response to inappropriate behavior has been physical abuse or total negligence. Strong fascination with guns and access to firearms. Many shooters have had easy access to guns, either through their own means or through family members. Why should any child with a developing brain and changing hormones have access to an AR-15? Unusual interest in past shootings, a fascination with previous school shootings or other violent events, past threats about future shootings or harm they plan to carry out against people. So these are of course just some of the common factors we see in individuals who later go on to to shoot up schools. Step three, once a member of the community spots, let's say three factors in the combo list, they anonymously submit a red flag into the system. And here's where you have to trust your gut. Your body never lies. If something feels off, it probably is. Step four, mandated psych eval. Once the system has three red flags on an individual from three separate community members, the individual is brought in for a mandated state-financed full psych eval. Step five, mandated intervention. If they are receiving several flags from the community, they likely won't pass the evals. So after not passing, they'll be mandated to undergo group therapy with kids like themselves, almost always male, and ideally a solid, compassionate male therapist who serves as a positive role model and father figure type for these boys. Family therapy, if younger than 18, individual therapy, if over 18, and art therapy. Art therapy, where they can learn to channel their mismanaged anger into creative endeavors rather than destruction. We know that if we intervene at the right time, when potential killers are still juveniles, we can turn this stuff around. Just as it takes a village to create something magnificent, it takes a village of ignored red flags to destroy it. We have got to get better, America. And I know we can.